Welcome back to another Blender tutorial. Today I'm gonna to be talking real quick about box projection. So box projection is different from our usual flat UV projection where we UV unwrap an object and we rely on the UV coordinates. This simply allows us to work procedurally with a seamless texture. So we can use a generated input in a vector and we can change it to box. I'm gonna quickly show you how to do this. Um, obviously, you're not using a rabbit. You can use any object, uh, maybe a sculpt or something that you've worked on, but this can work for anything. So let's quickly jump in and I'll show you how to set up some box projection in Blender to save you time with UV unwrapping so you don't have to mess around with that. So my example, I'm just using a rabbit model that I have on my computer. And this one is really high topology. As you can see here, um, I really don't wanna be UV unwrapping this. So let's say, here's my situation, okay? We wanna go over to our materials, right? And I'm just gonna give this a new material. This is called Rabbit. Um, by the way, you're obviously working with your own asset, like I said in the beginning. This can work for anything, any kind of object. So you're gonna go over to your base color and we're gonna click on this little dot here, this orange circle, and we're gonna go over and just give this a classic image texture. And then we can just go open and in my case, I have this texture on my desktop called wood plank. Just, it's a dirty wooden plank texture, but it's seamless. And the main thing here is you wanna work with seamless texture. So I'm gonna go open image. And I'll just quickly show you guys, if you're looking for a nice seamless texture, um, Polyhaven is a free website. You don't have to create an account. You can go to the texture sections. And by the way, not only can you download any of these um, textures here, you can download them individually, but you can also download actually the blend file and you can just import the whole setup. But for now, our purpose is if you want a texture, you can just go there, type in wood or something, get a wood texture and just download the individual um, diffuse color one to, to try this out. Okay, so once you have one, just go ahead and you know add it here like we just did. So the problem is if you now go Z and you go record, um, you can see here, this is not, we're not seeing our texture. It's We're seeing the color but this is not UV unwrapped or anything like that, okay? So how do we get that color texture across here without UV unwrapping it? And that's where box projection comes in. So let's go over to our shading workspace. This way we can see what's going on here. So we have our classic principal shader. We have our texture going into the base color. That's the exact same thing we set up here. We're just seeing the nodes over here. So what we need to do, we need to take our vector coordinate. We need to click on it and drag it. And let's let go and let's just type it in texture and then type in coordinate. We're gonna get our texture coordinate and we wanna go with the generated option, okay? So by usually we'll be working with the UV, but now we're working with generated, okay? And already we can kind of see the wood on here, but it's not perfect. So the way we can do this even better is by now coming over here to this image texture and we're gonna come here from flat. So the flat one here is usually what we rely on when we do our UV on editing. We can now come here and change it to box. And now this is getting box projected like so. And that's looking a lot better. And we can now come over here. If you want to control the scale, we can go shift a search and type in mapping. So M A P P get a mapping node, place it in the middle here. And then we can just take the scale and drag on it and let go and type in value, hit enter. So now we've got a value node. And now we can just kind of come here and maybe type in two or drag it around, make it smaller. This is a very cool way of adding a texture without having to UV unwrap. This is called box mapping. It's not perfect, but more or less it's gonna give you, generally it's gonna give you a relatively good um, result here. So now if I you know, render this, I can see my texture on my bunny. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this introduction to box projection in Blender. Um, this is more of a beginner's tutorial. If you like my stuff, definitely give it a like, check out some of my other content, and I'll see you guys next time.